Just uh, tell us a little bit about y'all's season so far. How have things gone for the team? Uh, so far, the we're pretty happy with the season, but we're not satisfied. We uh, haven't accomplished anything yet, but I mean, if we keep playing the way we play, then we should be okay. Do you feel like you guys are basically on track, Luke, with like you know RPI, strength of schedule, overall record so far, that what you need to show the committee in this next month, you guys are kind of accomplishing that so far at this point? I'd say so far we're doing a pretty good job of staying up there in the RPI. Uh, I know we're hovering around 30, a little lower than 40, which is always good. But, I mean, it's always nice to have, like, a little safety cushion and, you know, maybe we can get it a little lower than that. And then what's the message here in this last month? I mean, I know you want to win, 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 but is that just kind of the message? we got to push. we got to really have a sense of urgency and try to finish this thing off the right way as we get toward the postseason. Uh, we have our own team goals, and uh, we actually haven't accomplished any of them yet. So... We keep reminding ourselves of that every day, and uh, if we, if we reach those goals, then no doubt we'll we'll make the tournament. Luke, what's the uh, what's the feeling uh, like for you uh, going into a Friday night start uh, when you uh, when you have that number twenty four or number twenty two or number when you've got that ranking beside your name and you, you know you're getting the ball on Friday? How's that feel compared to earlier in the season when you were maybe kind of under the radar a little bit? Well, I like to look at every start exactly the same, prepare the same way no matter the opponent. So I don't really look at rankings that much because we, we can't control that. Um, but again, like if we keep playing the way we play, then we'll be fine. Yeah. What, what does it mean to the team to be ranked? Uh, there's a lot of excitement in the, yeah. in the locker room and the dugout. But like I just said, it's not the end-all, be-all. Um, we just got to keep winning when we're ranked. That's the goal. What's yeah. Good. You guys are out to first in, in conference, a half game up on Dallas Baptist. What do y'all need to do to kind of keep them away from where y'all are? Well, we need to, you know, obviously keep winning in conference like we've been doing, uh, play good defense and have our timely hitting. Uh, we're only half a game up, so it's, 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 it's pretty close. But I, I'd say just, you know, keep doing what we're doing. We have a saying on the team that's a uh, win Sundays. Uh, that's the dogfight day, so as long as we keep doing that. What's the difference in this team compared to last year to take the kind of steps forward you guys have as a group? Uh, team camaraderie. I'd say we're really close this year. Whatever we're doing, whether it's off the field or on the field, we're all pulling for each other. Uh, no, one, there, There's not really a lot of selfishness going around. It kind of just feels like we're it's one big family just wanting everyone to succeed. The last two years, you guys were a very strong hitting team, but the pitching was not up to the level that it's been this year. What had to happen sort of as a staff for you guys to take that step forward? Oh, like, I don't want to get specific with it, but we set, we have our own team goals, and we really focus on them in the fall. And, you know, like knock on wood, so far we're accomplishing them. So, yeah. How about for you individually, another very strong year? What's been sort of different about your performance or keys for your success this year? Uh, I, I wouldn't say really anything different. Like like I said earlier, I just like to keep preparing the same exact way, no matter the opponent, whether it's you know a top twenty five team or a lower RPI team. Luke, you guys playing with a chip on your shoulder this year? It seems like you know after the snub of last season, it seems like that's not something that's been forgotten by the guys on the team. Yo, we we talk about it all the time. It's we definitely play with a chip on our shoulder, and we we remember that feeling. So, I mean, every every game, whether it's you know a Tuesday, maybe a Wednesday, or if we're going for a sweep or whatever, every game matters, and we know that now. Like, compared to last year, we had a few games that if we could have just won one more, maybe two, we were in the tournament. So we know that feeling, and we take every game seriously. What's the biggest takeaway from a game like last night, a rivalry game? Uh, obviously, tightly competitive the entire way through, and both pitching staff seemed like they were kind of going through a meat grinder in terms of who was getting thrown out there in diff difficult situations. The game last night was, I know we lost, but it was pretty fun. Uh, we never stopped fighting. Uh, and the crowd here was awesome. I mean, we were stretching down all the way. It got super loud. Uh, I mean, you know, people were getting on the umpire. That's always fun. Uh, <laughs> but just the way we fought. I know I know, we didn't win, but we never gave up. We never folded. So that's what I'd like to see. Uh, and any, any uh, extra juice when you see Hallmark getting after the umpire too? Oh, that fired up the dugout for sure and the fans. I, I really thought like, after that I, we were fired up. I thought we were going to pull away, but just couldn't get it done. What's it been like for you to see Simon Miller and the success that he's had this season? I mean, it, it's awesome handing the ball to Simon. I mean, if I'm pitching on Friday, I get to hand it to him. I know we're going to be fine. So, dude, that's awesome. <laughs>
Has the uh, fan base grown a little bit in your time here? What, what's it been like seeing the support? Oh, for sure. So this, my first year was COVID. And uh, I mean, you know, we had a fan base, but it wasn't really anything it is now. Now you go on Twitter and you see, you know, UTSA baseball everywhere. So that's good to see, but I still feel like it could grow more. I mean, you know, top 25 team in the nation. So. All right, Luke, appreciate you. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Luke.